What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the top vocalists in my opinion. Now in this video, there is more people I could have added because I'm a fan of some more vocalists, but in this video, I'm only gonna share 10 of my favorite vocalists in the world. So let's just get straight into it. First off, we have Tyler Joseph. He is the lead singer of 21 Pilots. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of 21 Pilots always have been probably always will be I'm still waiting for a new album but they are very iconic he has such a unique voice and he can go from being really soft to rapping and I think that's really unique when you can have a trait like that next up is Tom Petty I've always been a fan of Tom Petty won't back down is one of my favorite songs by him he, he has such an amazing voice that it just is memorable and you can remember his songs you might not remember his name but once you hear it you go oh yeah it's that guy so to me, it is very unique. It is very special. Sadly, he passed away this past year, but he is still an iconic vocalist, and that's why I had to add him to this video. Next up, we have one of my favorite artists of all time, Eminem. The reason he's on this list, it's not really a unique voice, but the fact that in his songs, he can change his accent, he can change the way his voice sounds really, really well. To me, it works in all his songs, so I had to add him to this list. He's just one of the artists that can change how his voice sounds per song. He can go in different songs and have it sound completely different. To me, that is a great trait to have, especially as an artist. Next up, we have Billy Joe Armstrong, the lead singer of Green Day. Always been a fan of Green Day, always have, always will. They have some pretty great songs, and you hear one of Green Day's song, you know right away that is Billy Joe Armstrong. Next up, we have Steven Tyler. If you guys didn't know, back in about the sixth grade, I was really obsessed with Aerosmith. I used to have a Walkman, so I used to bring the Aerosmith CD on the bus every single day, and that's what I listened to to and from school, and it really sunk with me, and he has such a unique voice. Almost all of the Aerosmith songs I have either almost memorized or at least I know a lot of the lyrics per song so it is really something that hearing his voice made me remember the songs made me really respect the band I know they're from the 80s but to me they're always gonna live on next up is Axl Rose so just like Aerosmith they also hold a special place in my heart because Back in about the 7th or 8th grade, I still had my Walkman at the time. So the Guns N' Roses is what I used to listen to to and from school. Sweet Child of Mine, November Rain are some of my favorites. He has such an iconic voice. Something that is going to be remembered throughout the ages of rock and roll. I know it's another band from the 80s, but it is somebody where if you listen to one of his songs when he's singing it, you know him and he really can get his emotions out through his voice, through his songs, and it's really, really special for me. Next up, we have John Lennon. I used to be a really, really big fan. I used to listen to his music all the time. Not so much now. I'm still a huge fan of his. I just don't get to listen to a lot of his music now. But Stand By Me was really a touchy song, and there was a lot of other songs by him that was really special too. Once again, he had such an iconic voice, like a lot of people on this list, and such a unique voice that it really took you back in time and whatever he's talking about in his songs, it made you sit and really think of what song he's talking about, what he's trying to relay in his message, and it's really, really special, and I love whenever artists can do that, especially with their voice. Not necessarily the words, but you can kind of get the emotion through his voice as well in whatever songs he's singing. Next up, we have Freddie Mercury. I know this is one of my favorite artists. I know Queen, a lot of their songs, you can remember a lot of their lyrics. Even if you're not familiar with Queen, everybody at least knows, in my opinion, one of Queen's songs just because they've heard it before. Even if they never knew anything about Queen, they've at least heard one of their songs. And it's because of Freddie Mercury. He had such a unique voice. He would do a whole bunch of weird things in his songs. And he's really a great artist all around. Next up is Kurt Cobain. If you're not familiar with him, he was the lead singer of Nirvana back in about the 90s. He was one of my favorite artists for the longest time before I started listening to Linkin Park. He was, in my opinion, the top vocalist. He had such a nice raspy and scratchy voice that it was really, really unique in his songs. Teen Spirit is one of their most iconic songs. They also had other hits alongside Smells Like Teen Spirit, but most people remember them for Smells Like Teen Spirit. That was the go-to song back then, and his voice is so iconic. Whenever you hear the song, you know either of Kurt Cobain or you remember Nirvana. To me, his voice is so amazing. It's not something that can be duplicated, so 
that is really special when you have such a unique voice, a one of one. And the last one on my list currently is my favorite vocalist in the world, and that is Chester Bennington. As you guys know, Chester holds a special place in my heart. I did recently release, I think back in July, I released a video where I talk more about Chester, so I do recommend checking that video out, but his voice, in my opinion, is so iconic, so special, and so unique. He can go from really soft in his songs, where he's kind of being really, really gentle, not really pop, but really soft, trying to relay emotion and try to get that out. And he can also flip it and go completely screaming, not to the point where you don't understand the words that are coming out of his mouth, but you really understand what he's trying to say while he's screaming in the certain parts of songs. You really can understand how strong his voice is whenever he can do that, whenever he can start screaming. But to me, the greatest part is you can still understand him whenever he does those things. So to me, Chester Bennington is my favorite vocalist as of right now. I think in my opinion, he's gonna be sitting at number one for me for a really long time. And I think Kurt Cobain is gonna be sitting in second place for a really long time. I don't know if there's ever going to be an artist that can pass them, in my opinion. I think Chester Bennington is my favorite artist of all time. He has such a unique voice, and that's why he's on this list. So, hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please leave a like. I hope to do more videos like this in the future. So, what else would you guys like to see on this channel? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.